Hello everyone, and in this online course lesson, I'll be teaching you how to set up your Runlink server. So to start this video off, you will need to get your data cable and plug it into the laptop. Get the other end of the data cable and then plug it into your stem cell board. But when you're plugging it in, make sure you hold down the button as this will tell the stem cell board that you want to program it and not run whatever code is already on it. So once you've done that, find simplex Wi-Fi controls, double click on it, and make sure only to double click on it once so it doesn't open a bunch of tabs and then you have to go and close them. Once it's opened, you want to click send program to chip. It should come up with this warning saying make sure you push down the push button. It should come up with this, and then if it's successful, then a box would appear saying programming was successful. If you had something like unable to program ensure devices in bootloader or something, unplug it and then replug it in again, but make sure you actually press down the button. Once that's done, you can go on to the next step of connecting your stem cell board to the server and make sure you unplug and then re-plug in your data cable so that you give power to the stem cell board and the Wi-Fi chip. You want to go to network and internet in your settings. Go down to mobile hotspot and in your settings you should have runlink as the network name, runlink1234 as the network password and then network band is any available. The default password should be runlink1234. If you're having trouble connecting, send us an email and we'll give you the details. Then you click save and turn it on. Now, your device should automatically connect. If it doesn't, there's a button on the Wi-Fi chip and if you click on it, there you go, it will connect. So you should have ESP and some numbers and letters here. And then here is your IP address. Now the first st set, the first set of three, what I mean is like you want these nine numbers, go to your web browser and put them in 192.168.137. The last set of three might change depending on which network you're on. And then on the Wi-Fi chip, it should have either three digits or two digits. For me, I have two digits, which is 77. And you enter that at the end. Then you do slash control and then dot HTML, like that. If you click enter, you should come up with a Runlink web page, as so. Now to test if your board is connected and it still has an ongoing connection, you want to change C0 to digital out, and it should have a button here. The C0 is connected to the yellow LED on your board. If you, cl if you click it, then the yellow LED should turn on. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to move to the next lesson once you're finished setting up.